All right. Whoa. I'm gonna try. All right. Observer drift. Um, <laughs> Observer drifting <laughs> is not when you're in your car, right? It is not this. That's not a drift. Um, it's not floating away in the wind. It is when the observer um, changes how they use a measurement tool and changes what they count as a behavior or what or an intensity of behavior over time during an intervention or during an experiment or um, just throughout life. As you say, oh, I'm going to observe you doing X, Y, and Z. Uh, well you might change what those the definitions of x y and z are the particular behaviors let me give you an example make it a little easier i'm really strict at home as you might imagine if you don't get straight a's you're not a good student so as long as i keep sticking with those straight a's you're not a good student you know you're a good student and so on and so forth but well my kids aren't perfect kids and no one's kids are and sometimes maybe i I'm just too much of an ass and I shouldn't force them to have A's all the time. So what's happened is my definition of good student has drifted. In other words, as long as it's a C or better, I'm a happy camper. So observer drift. Observing grades, at one time the, so a good student was defined as only A's. Now a good student is defined as C's, B's, and hopefully A's, and uh, no trouble in school. So my definition has changed, which has resulted in observer drift.